The purpose of this video and others to come is to explore scenarios where analysis of systems of engagement data can add measurable value to the business. In this short first video, I want to share a scenario that explores the value of engagement analytics for the individual. Before we start, I want to quickly explain what we are doing behind the scenes to give you the solution described in this scenario. Firstly, we collect metadata from any system of engagement, in this case IBM Connections. That tells us who is interacting with whom, or what, when, and in what context. We then transform this metadata into a series of triples, for example, John contacted Jane, Frank created document X, and connect them all together into a massive enterprise graph. Maureen is a domino application developer. She's been in the company for two years and wants a new challenge outside her current organization. She's particularly interested in a customer facing role like sales or consulting. However, she feels that she needs to increase her visibility and reputation in order to be successful in finding such a position. She is a big believer in the power of the network. So she starts her journey by going to her personal social dashboard. Maureen logs into her social dashboard. The first time someone logs in, they are asked to opt into the system. Once opted in, they will get access to the personalized dashboard. They will be the only person who sees their detailed analysis. It is private and confidential. Managers have an organizational dashboard to give them visibility into how their teams are collaborating. However, it will never expose information about named individuals. The first screen Maureen sees is her summary view. She's happy to see that her score has improved over the last three months. She has been actively trying to be more engaged and increase her reputation across the organization. She decides to take a closer look at her reaction data. Her reaction score has improved, so she is clearly getting some good responses from her colleagues, although she notices that most of the reactions are coming from her peers and current organization. Despite her efforts to grow her network with external facing people, she doesn't appear to be getting a strong response from them. She goes to the network view to get a better understanding of what's happening. The first thing she does is to filter the network down to the customer facing people that she is trying to engage. Things look good on the surface, and there appears to be lots of links between her and the sales and consulting folks. However, Maureen knows that not all links are created equal, and it's the active interactions like commenting, co-authorship, liking, mentioning, sharing, which are the most valuable, rather than the passive links like community co-membership. So she filters down to just those high-value relationships, which now show that active engagement doesn't look so good. Despite her efforts, she is not gaining the type of reaction she had been hoping for. She then flicks through the topic pane to see which nodes light up for shared topics of interest. She sees that social media analytics seems to be a topic that resonates with a number of the folks she wants to actively engage with. So since Maureen is active in social media and has been doing some analytics work in this space, she sees this as an opportunity to engage more on those topics as they interest her and the network she is targeting. Sometime later, Maureen returns to her social dashboard. She looks quickly at her activity score, which hasn't increased much as expected, since she hasn't significantly increased her activity levels, but has just been more focused on what she's sharing. And her reaction score that's increased nicely and she's very pleased about that. However, now she decides she's going to focus on examining the analysis on her eminence score. She sees that her eminence has only marginally increased, so she needs to do something to address this. She can see some good numbers for people who interacted with her content and who value her content. And this is reflected by the nice bump in her reaction score. However, people who interacted with her is still very narrowly focused on her peers and her own organization. She needs to broaden her network. You can see the slow growth of her network as seen by the people who are connected with her numbers. She needs to connect with new people with similar interests and find out where those people are hanging out on the social sphere. So she goes to her recommender tab and looks for people and community recommendations. Maureen gets a list of people that she may want to interact with, tailored to her interests. She also gets a list of potentially interesting communities. For the people suggestions, she gets information about the network relationship she already has to that person.
And she gets inf an information button that she can click on that provides the evidence supporting the recommendation. This evidence can be another really good way of discovering new content or communities that you may be interested in. Because if this person was suggested to you as somebody you want to connect with, there's a good chance that the people they're connected with and the content they're creating and they're interacting with and the communities they're interacting with will also be interesting to you. Sometime later, Maureen logs back into her dashboard and drills through the various panes. She is pleased to see that she is now also seeing a nice bump in both her eminence and her network scores. So things are looking good, and she is now much more visible and respected across the sales and consulting organisations. This will help her as she now actively searches for her next new opportunity in a customer-facing role. She will have a growing active network that she can activate. As a final summary of the scenario we've just walked through, Maureen was looking for a new challenge outside her current organisation, specifically in a customer-facing role. She wanted to increase her visibility and reputation in order to help her find this new role. The social dashboard helped her recognise what she needed to do to increase her eminence. It identified that despite increasing her network to include customer-facing people, she wasn't actively engaging with them and they weren't actively engaging with her. It identified which topics were mutually interesting. It suggested new people for her to connect to. It allowed her to learn more about these people through the recommendation evidence trail. And it suggested communities she might want to join in order to meet her objectives. I hope this video proved useful and got you thinking about the value of engagement analytics for the individual. It's not only management that benefits from understanding workforce engagement. The insights that can be derived for the individual employee is equally as valuable.